Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have... Let him take notice and shine upon thee, for thou hast done his work this day. Huh. Oh, three gold pieces. This lady. I hope more soldiers... I hope more soldiers make it out of Ostagar. So much tragedy. They were goddamn trapped. Whatever, I guess. Go. Do, do, do. Three people watching. Hello, how are you guys doing? You don't want to chat? Not like death much. Mighty timely uh, arrival there, my friend. The Dorvin brothers. I should know Dorvin and the Sun, I think. Welcome. Name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sam. <laughs> Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I Good. ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going to say Then let the Lyrium into anything I want. Don't you want to travel with the Grey Warden? Grey Wardens? Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offense, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune, though. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? We'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. Thank you kindly for all your assistance. I'll keep getting freaking something. Okay, let's go. Now we just need to fight 
one part for the poison. We'll see those dwarves again. I uh, shit again. Dreams, huh? This seems so real. Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. Sure is. That the dragon? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Uh, another surprise I should know about. Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing, no, I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Uh, that's all yet. Yeah, there you go. Dwarf. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedek, at your service once again. I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a Grey Warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Let's see. You're free to stay, just... Yourself. Wonderful. Thank the gentleman, won't you, boy? Thank you, sir. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. You should need enchantments. Simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. What words do you have? Dwarves? Something you need? I'm sure either my boy or I can help you out. Any rumors? Some folks aren't happy about Tian Logain being named Regent. There are rumors he had something to do with the king's death. Isn't that the most ridiculous thing you ever heard? The Dark Spawn killed him, sure enough. Tian Logain couldn't save the king from that end, then nobody could. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Buy some healing. Uh. The baby that I want. Always buy healing potion, no matter what. Hello. Yeah. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a, what was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. What enchantment does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment, and there yep. you and have that, it. that far bright in his head. I want to see some enchantments done. Enchantment, uh, I have no items to enchant. Okay, that'll be it. Well, thank you. Now, let's uh, 
You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? Uh, so I, was, I have never heard of you. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. What, what promise that Duncan makes well, to as you? As you know, my family's name is Mud around noble circles. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Olin banished the wardens and he took House Dryden's land and titles. I'll just tell you what I need to know. Duncan wanted to reclaim the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. And perhaps we'll uncover evidence to restore my family's honour along the way. Nobody's been to Soldier's Peak since the Grey Wardens were banished, but I found a way. They say it's haunted, and it's certainly dangerous. Will you help me? This faith will be rewarded. I will help you. A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Cool. Let's talk to people. Yes. So I can lay with them. I like to talk. Well, here I am. This vision of yours. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. Mm. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. Just a dream of dreamed of the blight? I suppose I did. That was what the darkness was, no? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. That's, that's just my quick Lena, and I just made you want to help me. In my dream, I fell. Or, or maybe I jumped. Just while they with I you, woman. I do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the blight devours everything? <sighs> Chantry says the Maker has left us. By the Maker's potion, we buy him. That is why you're a Grey Warden. Come, there's a blight to stop. They get a bonus? Yes, plus two. More to go. Save. I'm going to take a little five minute little break and break back. Alistair. Right. What do you need? Do you know about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. Just, uh, he, I need to. Oh. I, I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. <laughs> I shouldn't have lost it. Not when so much is riding on us. Not with the blight and, and everything. I'm sorry. No harm's done. There's no need to apologize. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. Yeah. I suppose he did. It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him in the battle. I feel like I abandoned him. Oh, I understand completely. Of course. I'd be dead. Now. It's 
It's not like that would make him happier. I think he came from High Ever, or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime, and see about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... I also not to know what... I finally was murdered just recently. Oh, oh <laughs> of course. How stupid of me to forget. Here I am going on and on about Duncan, and you... I am so sorry. Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it. <laughs> Anytime, Master. I'm right, with you when you go. I'd like that. So would he, I think. I have approval, so they don't betray me. Why are we me. stopping? I, talk, I think we should talk for a moment. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? I need to know if I can trust you. Yes, you at my back. I am Kunari. I have given my word to aid you. We are not people of idle promises. Let's take Kyra. Tell me about your people. No. Ah. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Get used to disappointment. <laughs> people are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy eared people who excel at poverty. You said you were in the army. I am. You're a fought, fought I have war. always fought in war, human. Uh, what do you mean by that? My people have been at war since the moment we set foot in the Northern Islands. Now you don't come from the islands? We do now. <laughs> Where did you come from before? Somewhere else. Uh, they always this better at answering questions? Generally. I do not see how this matters. Seheron and Parvolan are distant. Ferelden and the Darkspawn are immediate. Are you alright? You were in the cage for weeks. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. Oh, we should get moving. As you wish. Uh, now where the hell is... Morgana, oh, the sexy girl. What are you barking at? Why you little? What's what? Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He spat at me. Look. That's hardly any blood drawn. Still, he shouldn't have. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. <laughs> well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. Oh, like you can tell the difference. Well, you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Oh, scary my dog, Alistair. Oh, there's a Alistair. He's full of rubbish. Hey! Where is Morgana at? This will help. This view. The blood. I am looking. There we go. There's where she is at. What do you wish of me? I'd ask you, uh, I'd like to discuss something personal. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Why are you still here? I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid you. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. No, I don't want you to. Then I assume our discussion ends here. Ah, uh, disapproval. What do you wish of me? Uh, something. If you must. How did you become a shapeshifter? I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. There has been doing this for a long time then. Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, 
I cannot say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Well, you can change into other human forms as well. The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. But it usually comes with a measure of shame. Human. Yes, it I does. Am the same as I'm, they are. I remember I having nothing. a baby with her. And so this, the answer is no. My game, human form is the only one I I think was I what Dragon Age t one or two that they have a baby, but the main character, if you're male, then you have a backstory in one of the expansion that you can kill her or not, and or go with her. And uh, number three, you, she has a baby. You want to become a shapeshifter. Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. It's been a while. I haven't played this since this came out. Ah, shit. It's if you so had a notion old. to learn such a skill for yourself, uh, sadly, you must this remain thing, the game, But it's very enjoyable. I want to play Neverwinter Nights 1 and 2, but a lot of problems with the freaking Windows 10. If it was a Windows XP game. Ammo. There were nights when the wilds called to me, tis true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat, prowled shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human, I am under no illusions to the contrary. What do other animals think of you when aged? They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus, they cannot speak, even were I to ask. I heard of magic like this before. That before. No, tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of the Circle of Magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded lore from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could. But as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. You mean apostate, don't you? Uh, the Chantry simply seeks access to danger. Is that sort of magic open to abuse? That, that's good. Such tradition needs to be preserved. I am surprised you think so. Still, it is a pleasant thing to hear. That, that's all I want to ask. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? Holting? Do a black one trick. It would just make you angry. I think that would just make you <laughs> no doubt it would. But enough of such talk. Let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. Oh, back that uh, minus 10 approval and plus 2 to approval. That, that sounds like fun. Okay, let's go and kill shit. Or again, uh, Yes. Load the ran, that's obscure for legend. Uh, well, we can go to Red Club and do we level up a bit. <sighs> Let's take stop halfway without an encounter. Yep, encounter it is. You have coin, stranger? The doors are more closed off. Old Tegra can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. Ah, huh, let's see what you hear. Or just cut up yours. Uh, I'm gonna sell the traps. Yeah. 
Armor, physical. I never really used traps at all in this damn game. Uh. Yeah. The one point to the I am done. Uh -oh. Back up. Gifts are useful. <laughs> Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. What's on your mind? Well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know Arl Eamon exactly? I think you said he raised you. I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. <laughs> Arl Eamon took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marek, which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. Why do you think you might have told me this before? Ah, uh, does that make you the heir to the throne? Make his breath, I hope not. I don't think so. You don't think so, do you? <laughs> I'm a bastard. And, and nobody even knows about me. I, I would have told you, but it never really meant uh, anything to me. Joe. Are I you, was inconvenient, you a possible threat Not to yet, Kaelin's Pav. Rule, and Not so yet. they kept me secret. I'd never talked about Just it. Just the beginning, so Everyone far. Everyone who knew either resented me for <laughs> but it or they me. Even soon Duncan we will. kept me out of the fighting because Probably of a couple more live streams we will be able to. to. As long as possible. So get all the so approval up. Get the, the particular gift. And I can't understand you were so stupid. You should have told me. I think I understand. Oh, good. I'm glad. Yeah, but it's not like I got special treatment for it anyhow. Our demon eventually married a young woman. I have not screwed anyone yet. Was with the king so soon after the war, he loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesser <laughs> resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. But soon, they weren't true. Not the beginning. Existed. We just the passed Lorder and got a red cloth right now. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age ten. Just did our Just first cap well. not too long ago. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. Does she know the truth about you? She may have, but I think it's more likely that she feared the rumors might be true. I can't blame her for that. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall. And it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Arl came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually he just stopped coming. Oh, uh, but you are there to the throne, right? Let's hope not. I'm the son of a commoner and a Grey Warden to boot. It was made very clear to me early on that there was no room for me raising any rebellions or such nonsense. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard... Oh, no, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. As a command, my prince. Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret this. Somehow <laughs> I just know it. <laughs> I know that we gotta go to... Two plus two. Come I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? 
I have an important business. I need to see Earl uh, Avon. Then you, you, you don't know. Has nobody out there heard? What are you talking about? Heard what? We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Van Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Van Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. <laughs> it's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still alive, yes. Though not for long, if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. I don't believe Loghain lies. Not all of us are dead. So, you are a Grey Warden as well? Is it possible we've met? You seem very familiar. I, you may have known my father, Terran Osler. Ah yes, that's it, exactly. A pleasure to meet you indeed, though I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother, Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. I can help you drive them back. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Uh, uh, I want to discuss the gesture with you. Of course. You have Earl Eamon Knights here. I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? Uh, their search for this urn of yes, sacred ashes. Yes, I question Isolde's decision to send so many knights in search of this relic. But I am a practical man, whereas she is a woman of great faith. Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. Attack the village. I do not know. They seem to be walking corpses, men with rotting flesh that continue to attack even with the gravest injuries. Undead? Spirits possessing the dead. There could be several causes behind such a thing, none of them pleasant. Why are you in the chantry with the villagers? Sir Perth insists. He wants me to be with the villagers, so everyone he needs to protect is in one place. I don't mind, to be honest. The point of all this is to protect the villagers, and I can do that best here. This is the last line of defense, should things go amiss. Need more men in here. We could bring some men in to stand beside me, but I'd rather keep the monsters away from the villagers if possible. Uh, so what happens after this battle's over? Hopefully we can find the source and stop it before it causes any more damage. With luck, we'll also find Eamon and be able to help him. Uh. Very well. To work. Luck be with you, my friend. 
Let us pray. Uh. You are a stranger amongst us, yet you still agree to defend our village <sighs> in its darkest hour. We are most grateful to you. Uh, I can't stand by while boss are attacking the whole Not place. many in these modern days would honestly say the same. You are a man of worth, and the Maker will smile upon you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Uh, just house. Uh, I should go. May the Maker watch over you, child. I'm gonna ransack the chantry. What do you guys have? Old woman. I fear most for the children. May I still fight? I'm scared, Mother. When are the bad Good men day. coming? No? Soon, darling. Don't worry. Everything will be alright. I want to go 